During production of his 1990 projects Henson traveled continuously. By late spring, Henson began to experience recurring flu-like symptoms. On May 4, 1990, Henson made an appearance with Kermit on the Arsenio Hall show, one of his last television appearances. At the time, he mentioned to his publicist that he was tired and had a sore throat, but felt that it would go away. On May 12, 1990, Henson traveled to Ahoskie, North Carolina, with his daughter Cheryl, to visit his father and stepmother. They both returned to New York on the evening of May 13, and Henson, becoming ever increasingly ill, cancelled a Muppet recording session scheduled for May 14. Henson's wife Jane, from whom he was separated, came to visit and sat with him talking throughout the evening. On the evening of May 15, at 2 o'clock a.m., Henson was having trouble breathing and began coughing up blood. He suggested to his wife that he might be dying, but did not want to take time from his schedule to visit a hospital. She later told People magazine that it was likely due to his desire not to be a bother to people. Although it is rumored that his Christian science faith prevented him from visiting the hospital, his stepmother and others deny this, as he had ceased practicing in his early twenties. His wife Jane thinks that his Christian science upbringing, while not directly responsible, affects his general thinking. Two hours later, Henson finally agreed to go to New York Hospital in New York City. By the time he was admitted shortly after 4 o'clock a.m., he could not breathe on his own anymore and an X-ray revealed he had abscesses in his lungs. He was placed on a mechanical ventilator to help him breathe, but his condition deteriorated rapidly despite aggressive treatment with multiple antibiotics. Less than 24 hours later on May 16, 1990, Henson died at the age of 53, ending a 36-year career in puppeteering. The official cause of death was first reported as Streptococcus pneumoniae, a bacterial infection. Bacterial pneumonia is usually caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae. It was later classified as organ failure resulting from streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, caused by streptococcus pyogenes. S. pyogenes is the bacterial species that causes strep throat, scarlet fever, and rheumatic fever. It can also cause other infections. On May 21st, Henson's public memorial service was conducted in New York City at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. Another was conducted on July 2 at St. Paul's Cathedral in London. As per Henson's wishes, no one in attendance wore black, and the Dirty Dozen Brass Band finished the service by performing When the Saints Go Marching In. Harry Belafonte sang Turn the World Around, a song he had debuted on The Muppet Show, as each member of the congregation waved, with a puppeteer's rod, an individual, brightly colored foam butterfly. Later, Big Bird, performed by Carol Spinney, walked out onto the stage and sang Kermit the Frog's signature song, Vane Green. In the final minutes of the two and a half hour service, Six of the core Muppet performers Dave Goles, Frank Ounce, Kevin Clash, Steve Whitmire, Jerry Nelson, and Richard Hunt sang, in their characters' voices, a medley of Jim Henson's favorite songs, eventually ending with a performance of just one person that began with Richard Hunt singing alone, as Scooter. Henson employee Chris Berry writes that during each verse, each Muppeteer joined in with their own Muppets until the stage was filled with all the Muppet performers and their beloved characters. 
The funeral was later described by Life as an epic and almost unbearably moving event. The image of a growing number of performers singing just one person was recreated for the 1990 television special The Muppets Celebrate Jim Henson and inspired screenwriter Richard Curtis, who attended the London service, to write the growing orchestra wedding scene of his 2003 film Love Actually. Henson was cremated at Ferncliff Cemetery and Mausoleum, and, two years later, his ashes were scattered in the desert near Taos, New Mexico.